Super. Interesting and challenging. I really enjoyed it. So glad to know. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. One of the very positive experience anyway, very rewarding as well. Very, very enjoyed the class. We do our class and they taught one. Brilliant. It's fun, yeah. It's yeah, it's good. And it's really uh, put me out there anyway for the world to see uh, that I am an artist and that I like to keep it that way. So my name is Miriam Spallin and I'm the founder of Connections Art Centre. Connections was developed from my lived experience with my mum who had Alzheimer's and was wheelchair dependent and my experience working in the disability sector as an arts and culture facilitator. I realised there are a lot of artists literally scattered across the country who um, really could do with some support um, and the support of their peers like-minded people to work with. And I suppose COVID had given us the, um, a whole new opportunity because it made us realize that, um, again, we were underestimating the disability com community's um, ability to use technology and interact with technology. And now we knew that everybody was well capable and interested in using technology. So that had given us a whole new way of connecting all these people all over the country. So the idea behind developing Connections Art Centre was to bring a whole, um, community of artists with intellectual disabilities together online to help them to develop their creative practices, support each other in an inclusive, safe and environment. Hi, um, I'm Sharon Devlin. I was the lead artist on Connecting Artists 2022. My role really was specifically to work directly with the 10 artists that were chosen for the project. I was I was really honoured. I was really excited. Um, from my experience as an artist, you know, um, it's hard. It is hard to get your work out there. It's hard to get the supports. And, you know, it's even harder again if you happen to live with an intellectual or a physical disability. My name is Amy Begley and I'm from uh, Newmarket. It's in Cork uh, City. Um, I love drawing and painting. I do a lot of my media like on paper and then I try and digitalize it on my computer, but also trying to keep it quite organic, you know, trying to keep it realistic as possible as well. You know, I, I really want to become an animator. I think it's important that the more my name is out there, the more that I'm hoping to get animation companies to really give me a chance and to see my potential and to see my skills. And I, I really do believe that I can actually like bring that to the table and just create wonderful things. And that is the reason why I've joined for um, the uh, connections and also show that, oh, I have a disability and I'm, I'm very proud of it because it's what makes me me and why I'm so unique. I'm Alan Tarpey and I'm, uh, I'm from uh, Nakakri in County Roscommon. And I cycle a lot and walk a lot and take, an insp and take inspiration from that into my artworks. Where the artworks themselves are made of pen and ink, are done in pen and ink, and with wash salt with pastel and parts. Initially I saw there was a, it was a, the thing artists for art, it was a call, open call for art for, artists with disabilities. I've uh, a few friends that uh, recommended me to, uh, op to uh, submit an entry. It's the, it's, it's the joys and serenity of an art group with thanks to modern technology like Zoom, you, you, you don't have to travel. It's the same as uh, being in an art group, actually, in real life. Pulling off and pulling off a facilitation of a class, my very first class. <laughs> that was fun. That was awesome. What can connecting artists achieve into the future? I think already there are 10 artists now that are taking themselves more seriously as artists that have hope their fire has been fanned if you like they're more determined to get their work out there they're more determined to stand into their own power and we have seen the amazing work that they produce and not just the work the whole process of of getting to the exhibition you know and so for, for us then to continue to work with new artists 
and to offer them the the supports, the creative supports, so that they can step out into the world and show what they have to offer. For someone with a different ability to try and like live the way that they want without being shut or knocked down by society. So like being in this group for me, feeling like, oh my goodness, there's actually people out there in different parts of Ireland that have different abilities and there's just, I don't feel the odd one out. Does that make sense? You know, um, I think that's my favorite part. I look forward to coming onto these classes, knowing that there are people that are like me and that we come together. And I just feel like, oh, there's, there's power there, you know, that kind of way. Um, I feel complete, if that makes any sense. It's like, oh, yes, there should be more people out here in public, <laughs> you know. Um, it's nice because sometimes I do forget that, like, oh, yeah. I'm not the only one, so it's nice, you know. I think that's my favourite part about it, is looking forward to coming up to class, knowing that there are people like me just loving and living life to the fullest, you know. So So I would really just like to thank everybody involved in this project. I would love to thank all the artists. You've been amazing. It's been fantastic working with you all. To all your families who support you, to all the support staff, the organizations who um, support these artists thank you so much and i would like to thank all the team at connections everybody who was involved behind the scene there was so many people involved in this project to all the volunteers the support staff the facilitators the people behind the scenes making all the content creating content everybody just want to say thank you so much to everybody it's been an absolute privilege working with you all and um, i'm really looking forward to continuing this project in 23 thank you Thank you.